An Oak Fire survivor who lost his house to the flames in July of 2022 has now lost a limb. It's the latest challenge as he continues to struggle while receiving little support from agencies that are supposed to help. Rodney McGuire says a charred tree limb fell on his ankle back in February. It caused a blood clot and ultimately led to the amputation of his leg. Action News anchor Nick Garcia is live in studio tonight with what McGuire says he would like to see from Mariposa County as cleanup of the fire debris continues. Nick. Well, Margo Warren, the Oak Fire was the most destructive wildfire of 2022. It burned more than 19,000 acres and destroyed nearly 130 homes, including Rodney McGuire's. Nearly two, late, two years later, those left behind in the burn scar are still dealing with the pain. When we first met veteran Rodney McGuire at an Oak Fire evacuation center in July of 2022, his most valued possessions were packed into his car, including this crocheted portrait of the Last Supper made by his grandmother, a symbol of his faith then and now. A lot has changed since we last talked to Rodney. Most notably, he lost his leg. Broke off of this tree right here. Broke in four pieces. In February, part of a burned tree, which he says should have been removed by cleanup crews, fell on his leg, which caused a blood clot and a whole lot of pain. If I could have chewed it off, I would have. Or give me, I, I told him, give me a saw, I'll do it myself. His property is still lined with charred, hazardous trees. Damage to his drainage system has left a muddy mess, and he's still living out of a trailer until his new house is ready. More difficult than ever now that he's in a wheelchair. I don't like to be a whiner. I'm a survivor. But this is wrong. We're paying taxes for this, and we all need help. And still nobody knows who is responsible for the cleanup. Action News reached out to Mariposa County, too trying to track down some answers for Rodney and other Oak Fire survivors. We were told we'd receive a response Tuesday afternoon, but still haven't. For Rodney, the lack of information, frustrating. And let's say walk in my one shoe, they can walk my other shoe. Let's see how they do on one leg. The Oak Fire already complicated Rodney's life nearly two years ago. Now the remnants have created a whole new challenge. And as he learns to live without a leg, his fiance Sally, who has not been able to move to Mariposa yet, is keeping him strong. I've found my love of my life. Sally and a special portrait. And that's what the Last Supper, why well, that's always been important, you know, um, the spirituality and the faith. Last year, 71-year-old Edward Wackerman was arrested, accused of starting that oak fire he remains in the Mariposa County Jail now awaiting trial after pleading not guilty in September. As for Rodney, though, we'll continue asking the county and other officials what can be done to help him. Margo.